Welcome to another RMS support tutorial. Today we will discuss final follow-ups in a QA report as well as how to verify QC requirements. Now let's get started. RMS allows the government representative to document the contractor's quality control efforts, successes, and failures. An effective and conscientious QC program will almost always result in a good quality project. When the contractor has reported that one or more pay activities have been completed, the government is responsible to inspect and verify the activities were completed satisfactorily. QA final follow-ups are ratings by the quality assurance representative when the contractor reports pay activities are complete. It is important to understand that pay activities are the same as activity schedules. They are not to be confused with CLINs, which can sometimes be labeled identically as schedule activities. Final follow-ups are a means to provide ratings on the contractor's schedule activities, not CLINs. These individual QC ratings, one for each activity, will assist when determining the contractor's overall quality control performance evaluation at the end of the contract. These ratings become the backup for the contractor's final or interim performance evaluation. This is extremely important for the substantiating and outstanding or unsatisfactorily rating for the contractor. A satisfactorily completed activity is not always a sign of an acceptable QC program. The activity itself may be outstanding quality and even far exceeds the minimum requirements for that contract. However, it may be more due to the government's success and not the contractor's. In this case, the contractor will be rated with less than an outstanding rating. Please know that the rating is for the quality control efforts and not the quality of the activity. Setting the QA rating for the final follow-up for an activity takes place in the QA Daily Reports module. In RMS, navigate to the QA QC tab, then select the QA Daily Reports module. Let's double click on the report to edit. Notice the blue tabs located on the left. QA tests, QA final follow-ups, and verify QC requirements. Select the QA final follow-ups module. This menu will list all the activities that require a rating code as previously mentioned. Activities will only show up if the contractor performed a manual entry or ESTA file update and have given the activity an actual finish date. Unfinished activities will not show up for evaluation until they are given an actual finish date. By clicking inside of the rating code column, a drop-down menu will appear. The rating codes are as listed. Outstanding, Above Average, Satisfactory, Unsatisfactory, and Not Applicable. Since our contractor's performance reflected in a positive manner, we will select Outstanding for each of the rating codes. By adding the code, RMS will insert the date you complete your rating into the final follow-up column. This is the date that you rated the contractor's QC performance on the completed activity. Click the Back button to save these changes. In RMS, each contract may have contract requirements for QC tests, user schools, installed property, and transfer property. Many of these actions are critical enough to be specifically verified by the government. It would not be reasonable that the government QA staff be required to verify 100% of these actions. Therefore, only a representative number should be selected from each of the categories as requiring specific verification from the QA staff. The number of QC requirements that the QA staff will verify should be determined during the initial planning stages once the requirements are identified and coordinated with the contractor's CQC plan. For more information on QC requirements, please see the link in the description box below. To start the verification process, click on the Verify QC Requirements module from the QA report. The first tab of this section is the Required Verification Summary tab. It is intended to provide a quick overview for the manager to see at a glance the number of each items. Each QC requirement will be filtered by type according to the boxes above. The QC requirements appear in the contractor's QC daily report screens until they are updated and reported complete with a passing grade if the requirement is a test. Just as with completed activities, once a QC requirement is reported complete, it appears in the government QA report to be verified if required. If the action taken by the contractor complies with the requirement, the item is officially complete. If the requirement is reissued, it appears again in the contractor's list and the cycle repeats itself. Now we will indicate whether there is concurrence that the item is completed satisfactorily or to reissue the item back to the contractor for further action by clicking the inside designated boxes. For this demonstration, we will select concur for the QC test and reissue for the installed property. Then click the back button to save the changes. Now you may complete the rest of the QA report as needed. For more information on how to complete a QA report, please view the link in the description box of this video. In summary, we discussed how to address the final follow-up methods for activities in QA reports as well as how to verify QC requirements. As a reminder, 
QA final follow-ups are ratings by the Quality Assurance representative when the contractor reports a PAC activity as complete. These individual QC ratings will assist when determining the contractor's overall quality control performance and evaluation at the end of the contract. QC requirements will appear in the contractor's QC daily report until the verification process has taken place. If you experience any technical difficulties while attempting to verify QC requirements, setting up QA final follow-up ratings, or navigating to the QA daily report, please contact the RMS Support Help Desk by submitting a support ticket or by calling the Help Desk phone. Links to our contact information will be provided in the description of this video. We hope you found this video informative and thank you for watching.